Welcome back to the Pilot Aware channel. This maintenance video shows how power supply problems and disconnections can affect the correct working of Pilot Aware and its interface with smart tablets and electronic flight bags. The information refers to both classic and Rosetta units. Firstly, we need to understand the relationship between Pilot Aware, smart tablets, and the electronic flight bag applications with which it interfaces. All Pilot Aware units use a GPS to provide traffic information to smart tablets and electronic flight bags. The combined signals allow you to interact with the Pilot Aware web pages alone. This is done by Link A. Or the information can also be transmitted to the electronic flight bag of your choice. In this example, we have used Sky Demon. This is done by a second link. Link B. When using Sky Demon, the interface between Pilot Aware and Sky Demon should be set to Pilot Aware UDP. This is done once at setup and is done on the Pilot Aware configuration page. It is important that you understand this hardware and software relationship so you will be able to better understand and determine which part may be not working correctly the power, the GPS, or link A or B. The supply must be 5 to 5.2 volts, capable of supplying a minimum of 2.1 amps. The connection between the Pilot Aware Classic or Rosetta unit must use the cable supplied by Pilot Aware. No other will do. The connectors used by the Raspberry Pi single board computer and the connecting cable are industry standard micro USB connectors. These can fail over time if they've been subject to vibration or rough handling. If the connection fails and the supply voltage becomes intermittent, then the computer will reset and connection to the smart tablet and the electronic flight bag will be lost for a while. Sky Demon will show a waiting for device banner as it attempts to reconnect to the Pilot Aware after the reset. The following short video shows how you can test if your power supply connection has problems. This shows a classic unit, but it is the same principle for a Rosetta. On the left hand side of this classic unit, you will see a small red LED and a green LED. Ignore the flashing green LED in the top centre as this shows the unit picking up Pilot Aware signals. You will, however, see that the red LED goes out momentarily as the cable is wiggled in the socket. This shows a typical faulty connection caused by wear. And the cable and the Pi will need to be replaced. The second failure mechanism is the loss of the GPS signal. This occurs when the power connection is good but the GPS momentarily loses a good GPS fix due to blocking between it and the GPS satellites. This will be identified by an orange banner on the Pilot Aware homepage and radar page. Also, Sky Demon will display a banner saying GPS signal lost. The GPS loss is usually due to temporary obscuration, that is blocking. But if it persists, the GPS must be located in a better position so it can detect a full set of satellites. For the best performance, a GPS mouse mounted remotely should be used. To recap, Sky Demon can provide two warnings. Firstly, waiting for device. This is probably caused by a power supply disconnection causing a pilot to wear reset. Secondly, GPS signal lost. This is caused by a GPS signal loss from the Pilot Aware unit due to temporary signal obscuration or a poor GPS location. So what can you do if you're having problems with the micro USB power interface? This can be fixed by replacing the Raspberry Pi single board computer and ideally the cable as well. A Raspberry Pi 3B should be used for the classic or the Rosetta unit. This is a built-in Wi-Fi, so the spare Wi-Fi dongle on the Classic can be used for iGrid reception. Please ensure that a genuine cable is used, as this contains a thick power connector. 
When you've changed the Raspberry Pi, you'll need to let us know the new MAC address. This is used as the serial number, so we can send you a new corresponding software key, including the remainder of your license term. Also, don't forget to update the software to the latest software release using the PilotAware firmware updater app. The hardware and software update can be undertaken by competent engineers. But if you want, we can do it for you. Send the complete unit back to us at pilotaware.com. To ensure that it doesn't happen again, it is recommended that the units, whether they are Classic or Rosetta, are permanently installed out of sight to improve performance and reduce clutter. Information on how to do this is available on the website at pilotaware.com. So that's all for this video. I hope that it has helped you to better understand the interface and diagnose any problems that you may have. Please like and subscribe and we look forward to seeing you again in the future.